As my Ghanaian brothers would say, Akwaba. You're welcome to a thrilling half hour of celebration. I'm Meche, your pilot. Today we'll present you the best of Akwaba Travel Markets, Oloku Festival, plus great information on travel tips. My name is Ineka and this is Gogi Africa. Let's have some fun. Then go away. Over the last nine years, Aquaba has become the most viable travel market platform, drawing professionals from Africa and beyond. On future segments this week, we'll bring you an amazing travel exhibition, creatively tagged Aquaba. Welcome. thrives in peaceful and healthy countries. Africa used to be tagged the dark continent, but not so anymore, as trade, investment and tourism are on the rise in Africa. However, terrorism, disease such as Ebola, could be a downside to this growth phenomenon. Morocco declined as host of AFCON 2015 and several other downside to this trend. So the challenges we face is that the necessary government backing that is needed is missing. Because there is, you have these uh, exhibitions go on like in UK, ITB and most of them. The government provides a particular service to support the exhibition. This is what is missing here, which is called a hosted buyer program. And uh, our problem hasn't really been money as we're putting it together because this is our tenth year. We've done that successfully. The problem is there are linkages that are needed that are missing. So that's the major challenge. But then this year we had a dollar problem. Aquaba means welcome in Ghana and is one of the most popular welcome words in Africa. Aquaba African Travel Market is a travel and tourism trade exhibition that holds in October every year. Aquaba this year is the 10th edition of a travel and tourism exhibition.
a vibrant, must-attend, three-day business and travel exposition. A gathering of travel professionals, hospitality companies, airlines, and government agencies. Takwaba has been very successful. Uh, the perception of the markets on Rwanda has completely changed. I'm really impressed. Last year they were talking about the genocide. This time they were asking me about gorilla naming. They were asking me about investment in Rwanda. Uh, many could remember the experience last year and uh, wanted to get some products from uh, Rwanda. So I believe this has been successful. The number of uh, visitors on the stand has grown and uh, the discussions themselves were really good. And uh, you feel there is a need from the Nigerian markets to discover Rwanda now. So far, with Akwaba, we are so happy. There's been a lot of positive feedback. We've had so many customers and definitely we're coming next year. Akwaba is very, very wonderful. Um, I've been here, this is my, in my organization, this is my third time, I, not the organization, participating on behalf of the, um, uh, the company. So I can tell you that we are doing very well and then Akwaba also is doing very well, creating the awareness of every other tourism company or individual in this country uh, beyond Africa. And we came here for the um, exhibition, the Aquaba exhibition that has to do with tourism. Um, we learned a lot today about different airlines and hotels in Africa, um, travel um, sites and different places. It was very interesting, educative, informative and just fun for all of us. I think this event is really fantastic. It is so important for the African continent to get together regularly in one place and just for people to meet each other and to network. Um, and we do a lot of encouraging other countries to come uh, to our continent, but we don't do enough travel between countries. So ABTA really encourages cross-border, um, just, just mingling and people getting to know each other and networking and business opportunities. And so this is really great bringing all the different African cultures the three-day travel market event also featured award presentations. And musicians were on hand to entertain. Hey, do you remember? 
Google, 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 Africa, 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 is all it's thing I want to hear. It's the only thing I want to say. Google, Africa is for Africa and it's about Africa. Google, Africa for Africa. In Yoruba cosmology, Oluku is the goddess associated with the sea. I think more like the sea goddess, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. So on Sight and Sound, we bring you Oluku Festival. Stay with us. Go away. Yoruba goddess of the sea and wealth is called Oluku. Oluku signifies unfathomable wisdom, especially the spiritual sciences that most people spend a lifetime pondering over. It also governs material wealth, psychic abilities, dreaming, meditation, mental health, and water-based healing. This is according to Yoruba cosmology. Oluku Festival has been held since 2002, organized by the Oluku Festival Foundation, and has become an important tourist and local attraction. It is led by Otumba Gani Adams, who also leads the Odwa People's Congress. We are celebrating and recognizing our heritage. This is our heritage. Before we came to this world, Oluku had been in existence. The history taught us that uh, all the world was being covered by the water before God created land. So it's our heritage. And if you want to talk about gods, gods, they are servants that are being created by Almighty God. Capital G, Almighty God, is the creator who creates every living thing and unliving things. So when you are talking of gods, there is a God in heaven, there is a God in heart. But uh, different tribe, different race have the way they call it. In Yoruba land, we call it Irumole Ludion, Irumole Ludiai. In the Arabian world, they call it Rawania or Malaika. In the Christendom, they call them agent or they call them spirit. In the spirit, if they want to degrade some spirit in the black race, they will say, Holy Spirit and Evil Spirit. So, 
I think it's time for us to educate our people the importance of what God has given to us. How can any reasonable person say this an evil spirit? This is the place we took all our belongings, all what we imported from abroad. We bring it into this, uh, this water. We fish, we, we took fish from here, from, from it. We took all good seafood from it. And at the, at the end of the day, we are celebrating Olokun here, someone who has been a religion fanatic, who I would call a religion illiterate. We said they are celebrating idol worship. What is an idol worship? Idol worshiping comes from a German language. What is an idol? Nobody called Olokun as his God. We call it an heritage, the product of Almighty God. I <laughs> Country of the new, all West Coast new, and the most of the European countries, only the fewer countries. Get a watch in Russia. We will go long, watch what you know, 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 what grand finale took place at Santan Beach, Badagri, Lagos. It was graced by royalties from states in Western Nigeria and Benin Republic. Part of the event marking the Olokun Festival was Miss Olokun Beauty Pageant, where the winner took home a brand new car. Now for those of you that love to travel as much as I do, here is Travel Tips. When you should take photographs. Photographs are exciting reminders to rekindle memories of exciting moments spent in the past. Tourists usually want to capture every of these moments at the slightest of opportunities. But most of the times they run into troubles with the locals because of this. You may wonder why a harmless gesture such as taking photographs can lead to dispute between tourists and locals. Most people sometimes hide their faces from cameras because they believe 
their spirit are taken away by the tourists with each shot. Some are camera shy and some don't just like their faces being shown on whatever platforms. Should you want to take photographs, make sure you answer the following questions. Will the locals take offense? Should you ask for permission first? Should you pay them for taking their picture? Do the locals want their pictures taken? If you find answer to these questions, you may then go ahead and take as many photos as possible. Until next week, when we meet you again, we advise you make your trips memorable and be safe. Bon voyage. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. From us at Google Africa, we say, let's reap the dividends of tourism by safeguarding Africa from any form of terrorism or insurgency and disease. True. So until next week, when we come your way again, we say bye-bye and take care of yourselves and each other. Same as I said, And from Neka, medal pa-pa-pa. <laughs>